it's a metal stapler it looks like that it's pretty solid it takes 26 by 6 or 24 by 6 staples this is 24 by 6 full metal construction and easy top loading anti-jam system with floating rail soft feel rubber pad for comfortable operation deluxe c12 it can perforate 25 sheets of paper staple spin track 85 millimeter 150 by 24 by 6 so the staples are not included you have to buy them separately that's it the box is empty so it looks like this it's pretty thick metal this is plastic by the way use 26 by 6 24 by 6 staples made in china c12 okay so you have to use it like that insert a paper something like that there and push that down and the staples will be inserted there you can open that part it has a spring so that it will push it up okay and to add the staples you have to open the top part which looks like that it has a mobile element here held by a spring that spring goes back there spring goes this way comes there and is fixed there so this sliding element is pushing the staples forward okay you can lift that also it looks like that so push it down this part is holding it get a pack of these 1000 pieces that sounds like a lot these are quite not too small whatever insert them there and that's it the machine will break down just one piece at a time and it will push it down and at those parts the ends will be bent upwards to horizontal and it will close so put that there this pushes it forward and it will come out here in this small area when you push it down so don't do it right now but let's test it here's a piece of cardboard and voila it looks like that very good it's working now let's take a box so that i can use larger staples than those those are for just 10 sheets of paper as you can see they are not large enough not powerful enough they can come out can i push it out yes so that's a smaller one for 10 papers and that's a larger one it's not too large one or two millimeters longer it's longer that way a tiny amount Ooh, it's not it's not too big it might be a little bit thicker maybe not but let's see how can i insert it here so will it fit in or not if not we have a problem yes this part is pretty wide maybe upside down it's not working no, it's here so this is not large enough or i have to press it harder so how should i insert it here hmm, it won't fit in like that it won't enter too much yeah, this is better it's somewhat holding it so taking consideration these sizes if you want to use it just for paper then that's large and you can press it down but if you have to insert it into tight places then that part is too large 
it's a bit more powerful than my previous one by the way you can insert one more there if you want maybe even one of course you can more or less accidentally break these just don't do it here's another piece that I just recovered from a cardboard can I use that one also well if you can insert it there and if it will stay there maybe if you are pushing it with that one maybe I'm not sure it's inserted but it's not in a fixed position like the others one is up one is down two four six eight ten push that metal in and pushes up that if you could remove this plastic then it would fit in into tighter spaces that is rubber there are screws below so you have to push it up you have to rotate it you have to remove those screws and theoretically that plastic would come off yeah of course it's inserted there and it's held here by two screws now this will fit in into tighter places so that's why it was moving now it goes deeper into this or deeper see where is that deeper in there of course this is hanging out now it's not that nice but just in case you need more space that's thick metal insert the end there push this metal up put those two screws back and we just modified this metal stapler deluxe c12 and voila it's back to its default state 